A bullet hole in the passenger side of this car in Woodbridge. Prince William County Police say the driver smashed into a parked vehicle trying to get away from narcotics officers conducting an undercover drug bust Thursday night. A shootout with police leaving two men accused of helping operate a fentanyl distribution operation in the hospital. It does seem like a lot of the violence we're seeing here in Prince William County and the city of Manassas and Manassas Park do uh, revolve around the distribution of drugs and they are involving younger and younger people. Fentanyl has been keeping police departments like Prince William County busy with drug seizures like this one. Earlier this year, two teens died after taking fake Percocet pills laced with fentanyl in the county. Just this week, the DEA sent a warning on a new trend, colorful fentanyl pills that look like candy, an effort by drug cartels to target our youth. Don't bring this into Virginia because the full weight of our office is going to come against it. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miara says the Commonwealth is ramping up efforts to address the problem, starting with a PSA campaign highlighting the dangers of fentanyl and a plea for the community to help. We are rolling out several new uh, assistant attorney generals assigned into U.S. attorney's offices to go after drug dealers and gang leaders. Miara says prosecutors need every tool to go after these drug dealers and criticizes the previous governor for vetoing a bipartisan bill in 2019 that would charge drug dealers in fatal overdoses with felony homicide. Governor Ralph Northam says the bill goes beyond dealers and would punish people struggling with addiction. And it doesn't impede us necessarily to going after people who distribute drugs. Prince William County Commonwealth's attorney Amy Ashworth says while she can only enforce the law, her office has been busy as more drug distribution cases get more violent. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.